Most of us need a television license, and now there's even more help for those who are struggling to pay. The annual cost of a standard license can be spread by monthly or quarterly direct debits, or even by weekly cash payments. We help direct debit customers by allowing them to pay any missed payments in smaller amounts. For payment card holders, we send text reminders, and they can even pay by text. We call customers whose schemes are at risk and customers who miss payments, offering to help before they become unlicensed. We offer people a range of payment methods and encourage them to choose the option that's right for them. We've been looking at additional ways to help customers and we now provide monthly instead of quarterly refunds for people who no longer need a license. We're also trialling a dedicated advisors helpline which allows charities and advisors to raise queries directly on their clients' behalf. We try to keep everyone licensed and prosecute only as a last resort. If first-time offenders buy a license and maintain payments, we withdraw almost all cases before prosecution. You cannot be sent to prison for TV license evasion. Courts imprison people very rarely, and only if someone refuses to pay a court fine for evasion. We offer a telephone translation service for customers who speak Polish, Spanish and Portuguese, as well as many other languages. We also distribute language leaflets to community organisations, explaining how the licence fee works. There are also concessions available if you are over 75, if you're blind, or living in some types of residential care. The licence fee is the lifeblood of the BBC. It provides vital funding to make world-class television, radio and online content. And it ensures the BBC remains independent and free of advertising. Last year, for every £12 a household paid towards the licence fee, more than £7 was invested in TV, £2 in radio services and 83 pence in the world service. Online content, websites, BBC services and collection costs make up the rest. For more information about how we can help, visit tvlicensing.co.uk forward slash info.